Welcome to my store. Okay, so now it's fall, as you can see from the leaves. And what we're doing here today is closing up the pond from the... It's like cleaning a shallow swimming pool. Okay, so you've seen this uh, well, all through the season. Here's the koi, goldfish. Uh, here's the big one. Is that the big one? But you can see how the water's nice and clean and clear, and there's the waterfall over there. A few leaves have fallen in. But there's 100 plus fish in here. We count them every spring and every fall when we take them out. So what we're going to be doing first is turning everything off. We'll pump all the water out, corner the fish down in that end where the deep end is, and uh, then once there's not so much water, we'll start catching them out and packing them up. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty. Sunlight ripples on the water. Okay, so we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back. Uh, what we've did is uh, taken uh, a couple of pumps. You can see the black hose and the white hose. And we're draining it. And while we're draining it, we keep shooing the fish down there. Okay, so... Uh, that way, we don't have to turn over all of these rocks to find the fishies underneath. So let's go see, make sure the hoses are both working. And I don't want to fall in this water because it's cold. It's now October. Okay. Yeah. Aaron always likes these parts. He likes to play in the water. But, uh... Yeah, if you remember the uh, shot of the fish in the spring. Well, this time we don't have the raindrops tripling, but uh, we see all the fishies. So I like this part. It involves us just sitting here. Oh, Jay, let's turn the water off. Because if we don't turn the water off, it comes in just about as fast as we take it out. We could be here all week. Okay, everything is underneath things. Okay. So it's not this one. It's this one. I put that in. Okay. Ow! Hit my head. What? I'm bleeding? No, no I'm not bleeding. It hurts so. Right away. Okay, so we'll see you when we get more water out of here. Don't throw them back in the pond. Uh, just pile them up top to the side. Yeah. Jay? <laughs> How dry is your toes right about now? A little wet right about now. <laughs> uh, How does this come off? Does it? Uh, those two rings, the loops. Take all the take the stones off of where you got your hand. Yeah, take them all off. Hey, don't drop them down the hole. We gotta fish them out of the hole. What? Toss them off to the side. Off to the side. Yeah. Okay. Now you see that uh, pipe? Yeah. Now go back. Go back further. Yeah. See those two loops? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Pull them forward. One each way.
No, no, pull the two loops. See the two loops? Yeah, one here, one here. Yeah, pull them forward. They're levers. Yeah, pull one on one side. Just pull them forward. Or pull them the way that they ain't. Now they just swing forward. See they're against the one hose? Yeah, okay. When you take them both out, that unlocks it. There you go. Don't step in the hole again. No, not going to. See, everybody's waiting for Aaron to fall in the lake. And he fell in the lake when he was up there with Darlene. But it was dark and you couldn't see that he fell in the lake. Well, of course it's dark. Yeah. Well, we got you falling in the lake in the light. Well, this is, you call this a lake? This is as close as to a lake that we've got. No, the closest to a lake I've seen was the bank. No, no, no. But that we've got anybody falling into. Oh. See, everybody wants to see Aaron fall in the lake. So now we got Jay falling in the lake. Except it's like, I believe he called it, uh, it's like cleaning a shallow swimming pool on the video for the spring. So, anyhow, what we did, we got all these buckets full of water. We lined them with a garbage bag and then put water in the bag. And then we got a bucket there where we're going to catch the koi. And that way when they got all the leaves and everything in them, they don't get into the buckets to haul and get dumped in the atrium. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking apart the filters and pumps and everything. They'll be stored for the winter. And then next spring, put back together. Although next spring, uh, somebody else has to clean the pond because that's too much work. I've did it for 20 years and uh, the rocks haven't got any lighter. So, uh, probably Mike and Justin, uh, they said they'd do it. Probably and, without me. Well, they might get you. Somehow I got it. Yeah? Want to bet on it? Want to bet they don't come in it next spring? They How much you want to bet? Dollar? <laughs> okay, dollar five. Dollar five. A dollar five. Dollar. dollar oh, a five. dollar. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were living it up and going to dollar five. <laughs> okay. So, people, remind us of this bet next spring. See if Jay's cleaning the pond. Okay. So, what we're doing, we got most of the uh, water out of this end. So, we got no koi down here. And they're all kind of over there. Yeah, nothing there. Just yeah. There. Well, there might be some underneath there. Probably not. I'm gonna, oh yeah, there's one. There's another one. Yep. Yeah. So, well, we got a stick net here. So. A little too shallow to catch them so far. A little too shallow? Not shallow enough? Well, when there's no water, they're a lot easier to catch. Oh yeah, hold that. Yeah. Stick net, didn't work. Okay, so we'll see you guys in a minute.